Hello everyone. So the results of JE Mains and JE Advanced are both out and the JOSA counseling has just started. So I thought that this will be a good time for me to share a few tips with you so that you can make an informed decision before filling in your choices. I'm making this video particularly because over the years, both as a faculty member and previously when I was a uh, when I was an undergraduate student here at IIT Kharagpur, I've seen many of my friends, I've seen many of my students as a faculty uh, suffering a lot because of the wrong decisions that they made at the time of counseling or even if they did not suffer explicitly because of those wrong decisions, they at least regretted their decisions later in life. So I do not want the same kind of regret or suffering to happen to you all and uh, therefore I'm making this video. Now uh, at this point, at the time of counseling, the fundamental question which arises in all the students' minds is whether they should go with a particular department or a particular institute. At this point, most of you do not know about uh, different departments. So probably in your mind, there is a greater preference of giving a greater weightage to the institute. But let me tell you this, that this is a very wrong notion. You must always make it a point to give greater preference to the department. Now the natural question arises, how can you know about the department? Because you have only, all, uh, only been studying physics, chemistry and maths. You do not know about the departments. Well, for that, there's a very easy way out. You go to the website of the institute that you are interested in. Or for that matter, go to any good institute website, look up what is being taught in the different departments. Go to the mechanical engineering website, go to the chemical engineering website and look it up. And let me tell you this, you will be very surprised by what you find there. Okay, for example, although I'm not from chemical engineering myself, but I know for a fact that there is always a lot of wrong notion associated with chemical engineering because of the word chemical written in chemical engineering. Perhaps they do not like chemistry, uh, they, did not, they did not like studying chemistry in their plus two, so they never go for chemical engineering. Nothing can be farther from the truth. Because in chemical engineering, a lot of emphasis is there on transport phenomena in general, particularly on heat transfer, mass transfer, fluid mechanics, where there's a lot of importance on fundamental mechanics. And so chemical engineering has a lot of overlap with mechanical engineering. Now, after you have taken a look at the websites of the different departments, what you need to do is try to correlate what is being taught there, the different topics which are being emphasized in the different departments with what you actually like studying during your plus two. Let me point this out very clearly. I'm asking you to identify the favorite topics from your plus two, not the topics on which you ended up scoring highly, because it may so happen that you ended up probably scoring higher in some of the topics which you're probably not that much interested in studying for the long haul. And this long haul is a very important thing. When you choose a department, when you go into a department, it is for your entire life. Okay, so uh, choose a topic in which you will have the patience, the stamina to study long and hard. Okay, and if you have that fundamental interest, okay, forget the scores that you managed during your plus two. If you have that fundamental interest in those topics, I assure you, okay, I assure you that you will be able to do well in the long run. And this long run is what matters in the professional environment. Okay, once you go into professional uh, practice, that is what is going to matter. And even just considering the undergraduate days, your undergraduate degree, a, a period of four years for five years for dual degree programs is not a long, is not a very short period of time. So you have to sustain your interest and efforts over those four or five years. Another very, very important point, uh, again, uh, to do with the with this dilemma between department and institute is that I've seen many students, what they do is they take up a, they, they try their best to go to their dream institute because everyone certainly has some kind of a dream institute. They try to go to their dream institute at the, uh, with, with, uh, with the notion that, okay, whatever department I will get, I will just go. Okay, this is completely wrong. This is especially wrong if you are such a student and you are thinking that I will let me go to the department, to the institute first and then depend on the provision of department change to hope that after your first year, you'll be able to change your department to something which you really desire. This is completely, completely wrong. Okay, this is actually a big trap. This is a big trap because I have seen many students who get stuck with a department which they have absolutely no desire in studying 
with the only compensating fact is that they are in their dream institute. But they end up regretting their decision all throughout their life. They completely lose their interest. They completely lose their interest in studying in academics and they end up doing some random job which, is, which has nothing to do with, uh, with the department that they had chosen uh, back at the time of counseling. So please, please do not fall into this trap. Sacrifice your favorite institute, your dream institute and choose something which you really want to study academically. Next, let us talk about some examples. First and foremost, my own department, mechanical engineering. So for mechanical engineering, uh, you definitely have to be good in mechanics. That's a given. Now, as I said earlier, uh, if you're really st interested in studying mechanics, and I know many of you are, I, many of you develop a lot of interest in studying mechanics, but somehow many of you do not end up scoring very high marks uh, in mechanics related questions because of whatever reasons. Despite that, if you have a genuine interest in mechanics, I think mechanical engineering or aerospace engineering or civil engineering is the way to go. Please also remember that uh, mechanical engineering is not just about mechanics. Okay, there is a lot of stuff beyond uh, mechanics, although mechanics is the fundamental thing. Uh, there is thermodynamics, okay, which is another very fundamental thing. So if you like thermodynamics, uh, definitely mechanical engineering, also chemical engineering, uh, certainly aerospace engineering. Next, let us talk about everyone's favorite, computer science and engineering. Well, if you managed to get a high enough rank, you are, uh, of course, driven by all the media hype and all the previous year's trends to go into computer science and engineering. But do think twice if it so happens that your high rank is as a result of your excellent performance in physics and chemistry but not in maths. Okay, because if you have to do really well in the long term uh, in computer science and engineering, you really, really have to be good in maths and the kind of maths which has to do more, perhaps more uh, on the side of pure maths. Of course, there's a lot of applied maths in uh, computer science and engineering too, but some of the fundamental things, uh, especially on the theoretical side of computer science, you have to be good on the pure math side of things, things like number theory, uh, combinatorial mathematics and so on. Okay, so please be mindful of that. Uh, similarly, for uh, maths and computing, there's a lot of craze about, about maths and computing. Uh, in fact, we have an entire department here at IIT Kharagpur uh, on maths and computing. Uh, and people are very much interested in studying that nowadays. But please note that beyond that hype, ultimately, when you take this department, you, have, you are the one who have to study the various subjects. Okay, it's not just artificial intelligence or one or two subjects which you have to study. You'll also have to study very fundamental subjects like uh, real analysis and many other uh, very, very, very classical topics like topology. So uh, you have to really have a proper mathematical bent of mind to be able to do well overall in mathematics and computing. Okay, so please bear that in mind also. Another very, very important fact which many people do not realize early on is that they are excited by a certain department. Okay, so nowadays there is the, uh, I mean, you can find all information on the internet and uh, there is no dearth of uh, various kinds of exciting videos on YouTube, various kinds of uh, videos also which suggest uh, like small projects which you can try out on your own. And perhaps you have already tried that on, on your own out of your own initiative, that's excellent. And based on those things, you are perhaps interested in a particular department. Maybe you're interested in mechanical engineering, maybe you're interested in electrical, but uh, you have to understand something that when you go into an undergraduate program, from the very first day, you will not be able to do such kind of exciting projects because this is a serious program. Every undergraduate program in, in, in engineering, in science definitely, is a very, very serious program which builds up your knowledge step by step. And so when you have to do this over years, maybe over the entire first year, second year, third year, you have to study some of the very classical, very fundamental things in these departments. Okay, and you have to build up the, the ABCs of the knowledge. So the initial studies that you do in these departments, uh, even if you, you take an informed decision based on your own interest uh, about joining a department, it may not be that much exciting. Let me tell you this, that 
um, the very fact that you have uh, successfully cleared J mains or J advanced means that you are a good problem solver. So you like very much solving challenging problems. Now, uh, suppose you go into a department like biotechnology or geology and geophysics. Initially, there will be a lot of the topics uh, over the semesters, over the initial semesters, which may be information heavy because the professors there have to first teach you some of the ABCs of the subject. Only then they can give you some kind of interesting uh, uh, topics where there will be there will be very creative kind of problem solving. Like you cannot go for creative kind of problem solving without first building your own knowledge, without first building that ABCs, the fundamentals of the subject. So for that you have to really study hard patiently. Uh, like putting in your full stamina of your studiousness. Okay, many people do not understand this. They get bored by the things. So when you pick a certain department, even if it is based on your own interest, please be aware that this is going to happen. Okay, if you have the stamina, the the the, the tenacity to and to first build that knowledge and only then go for creative kind of problem solving and projects, interesting projects, uh, only then go for these kinds of. Uh, departments and if you're really interested in in problem solving from day one well the easy answer is join mechanical engineering okay so right from day one right from day zero you'll be given problems uh, to solve okay because it's just the nature of the subject that you cannot learn mechanics okay the kind of higher mechanics that you are going to learn in mechanical engineering uh, without actually solving problems the, so the ABCs of the subjects is actually taught through problems uh, so uh, there is uh, there is the truth. Okay, there is the set of truths for you to to really digest, think about, and based on these kinds of uh, small tips that I have shared with you, I hope uh, you'll be able to make an informed decision and uh, go into a department, go into an institute, uh, which will be the perfect solution to this uh, to this. To, to what is actually a nice optimization problem okay so this this jake this josa counseling selecting the department and the institute is ultimately not a maximization problem it is ultimately an optimization problem better yet it's a constraint optimization problem and i hope you get the perfect solution to this optimization problem so all the best thank you